Welcome to Sounds of Resistance channel. In the eighth month of the war between Ukraine and Russia, while Russia is experiencing the most terrible days in its history, the Ukrainian army continues its decisive advance, especially after the Russian leader Vladimir Putin accepted the mobilization decision. Things started to turn around in Russia. At the beginning of the war, the Russians who continued their raiding policy now maintain the position of cautious retreat which the Kremlin refers to. While Vladimir Putin has begun to have difficulties in controlling his country and his army, the negative effects of the mobilization decision continue rapidly throughout Russia. Russian leader Vladimir Putin left Russian citizens in anxiety and fear with the mobilization decision he announced. Immediately after the mobilization was echoed on Russian state television, Russian locals began to leave Russia. Before Vladimir Putin's mobilization decision, the majority of Russian citizens did not support this decision. We think that only three big names in Russia are satisfied with this mobilization decision. One of them, of course, is Russian leader Vladimir Putin. The other is Little Putin, Pesko, who is the spokesman of the Kremlin. And the last name is Shoigu, the Russian defense minister. It is claimed that there is a devil's triangle between these three names. Three important managers do not easily reveal the secret policies they implement. The deep face of the mobilization decision announced by Putin is known by these three names. These three names are what dragged Russia into the swamp. Russian Defense Minister Shoigu, in a statement right after Vladimir Putin's mobilization statement, stated that the 300,000 people to be recruited into the army will increase to 1 million over time, which confused them. First of all, Russian Defense Minister Shoigu, who expressed shocking words, then stated that those who do not meet the military criteria will be not taken into the army in order to calm the Russian people. But day by day, Russian Guard regiments began manhunts on the streets of Russia after Shoigu's announcement. Russian Guard regiments began to voluntarily recruit everyone, sick and old, into the Russian army trying to cover up this dirty political game carried out by the Russian administration. Russian Defense Minister Shoigu stated that the mistakes made will be corrected. However, even after Shoigu's statements, the mobilization practice continued with all its mistakes. Apart from Shoigu and Pesko, who are known as names close to the Russian leader, there is another name. That name is Mikhail Lazutin, pro-Kremlin, Putin's strongest propagandist. Lazutin who was the subject of a news that shook the agenda of Russia on the world, managed to be one of the names that entered the list of betrayal known for his closeness to Putin. Mikhail Lazutin was recently spotted at the Georgia's border checkpoint with Berkhni Lars among those departing to leave Russia. Along the Georgian border, where there was a 17-kilometer queue, there were thousands of Russian citizens to leave Russia together with Lazutin. Mikhail Lazutin was a blogger who served as a pawn, which until today did not go unnoticed by the Russian leader Vladimir Putin. After the mobilization announced throughout Russia, we think that Mr. Lazutin is among those who fled for his life. But the interesting thing is that before leaving Russia, Mikhail Lazutin was one of the foremost representatives of the mobilization decision implemented throughout the country. Why did Lazutin, one of the strongest promoters of Putin and his administration, suddenly decide to leave Russia. Since February 24, the start of the Russia-Ukraine war, there have been dozens of tragic comic events like Lazutin, but this event is seriously shocking. Because the mysterious death or murder of Gazprom employees who are close to Russian leader Vladimir Putin raises the questions in mind. Did Mikhail Lazutin also receive such a threat? Why do people close to Russian leader Vladimir Putin die or leave Russia one by one? The events behind the scenes of the war perhaps will become much clearer after the war is over. But there is a known fact about Lazutin that this man was a total Putinist. Lazutin's sudden decision to leave Russia is naturally surprising. Lazutin founded the Lev Against movement in 2014. This move encouraged Russian citizens not to smoke, drink alcohol, or speak abusive language in public. Lazutin received a check worth $215,000 from this project, which was approved by Putin. Now, will there be a comeback for Lazutin, who left Russia with the $215,000 he received? Or is he gone, never to return? 
We will see the answer to this in time. Meanwhile, with the mobilization decree announced in Russia, the border gates of countries such as Armenia, Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan that do not require a visa for Russian citizens, including the Georgian border gate, are quite crowded. It is reported that there is about 20 kilometers of traffic at the border gates of these countries. And day by day, the number of Russian citizens fleeing from Russia due to the mobilization is increasing rapidly. The mobilization plan organized by Russian leader Vladimir Putin, Russian Defense Minister Shoigu, and Little Putin Besko seems to have failed. It seems unlikely that the targeted 1 million Russian volunteers will be gathered and ready for war. When the secret game set up by this trio of devils did not work, the ringle leader Vladimir Putin tried to his luck from another channel. Russian leader Putin is trying to win the victory he couldn't get on the battlefield with the so-called referendums that the Russian administration legitimizes. However, the so-called Russian referendums, which were not accepted by any official institution or any country in the world, were not very effective. Russian leader Vladimir Putin stated that Donbas belongs to Russia in order to reduce the Ukrainian pressure in Donbas, and the local people there are considered as Russian nation, just like the Luhan citizens. It should come under the control of Russia. Against Putin's words regarding this illegal annexation decision, world leaders and some politicians in important positions vomited blood on Putin. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg underlined that all annexed territories are part of Ukraine, not Russia, while the European Union Foreign Action Service described Russia's move as deception and hollow propaganda. The White House also condemned Russia's fraudulent attempt to annex sovereign Ukrainian territory, with the US National Security Advisor calling it a blatant violation of international law and insisting it as a null legitimacy. French President Emmanuel Macron stated that his country will continue to stand by Ukraine to counter Russian aggression and allow Ukraine to regain full sovereignty over all its territory. Swedish Foreign Minister Anne Lind, after a joint press conference with the Scandinavian nation's prime ministers and defense ministers, said, We never recognize and will never recognize the illegal referendum designed by Russia. British Prime Minister Liz Truss emphasizes the unjustified occupation of Russia with the words, Vladimir Putin is once again violating international law with threats and further annex Ukraine. Dutch Foreign Minister Wopke Hoekstra described Russia's illegal annexation as absolutely unacceptable and stated that there is no place for such violent imperialism in the 21st century. Reactions against Russian leader Vladimir Putin went beyond the borders of Russia and became the center of the world agenda. Almost all leaders and important political figures called for the Russian leader's illegal and inhuman occupation to stop, but the Russian leader is still insistent on maintaining his narcissistic and fascist ideology, which consists of his own ego. If the situation continues like this, turmoil in Russia will grow and will prepare the end of the 23-year regime established by Vladimir Putin in Russia. We do not know whether the anger of the Russian people and their minorities or Putin's ego will win, but we will see the results together. Don't forget to follow us. Thanks for watching.